Getting on to uh, the mailbag. Um, and you know, Mike, uh, I'm glad you're here because we actually had a lot of questions come in and maybe you can uh, guest host this with me, this segment here with me, um, since we have you on the line. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so um, I, I did pull Mass Effect centric questions out of the mailbag this week. So uh, the first one is from Lark Johnson 44. Uh, and Lark writes in uh, and he says, uh, you know, I, we, we've put a, I put a shout out on Twitter asking for Mass Effect questions. Uh, and Lark says that, uh, you know, earlier in his life, uh, you know, 10 years ago, I had a uh, serious drinking problem going on in my life. Um, one of the ways I coped with it was playing a lot of Mass Effect. Um, you know, what, what do you think about uh, using video games as a, a coping mechanism to help um, sort through uh, things like alcohol, drug abuse? Great question, Lark. Um, you know, I, I've never had those problems myself, but Mike, do you want to chime in? Uh, is this perspective that you could maybe provide some input on? How do you how do you um, cope with things like that? Well, I mean, I've always played video games, so I don't have to. I don't have to learn a new hobby to 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 take over. You know, weakness that this person has. So I don't know. I can't. I can't really chime in on this one. It's not my ballpark, sir. Okay. Um, well, you know, uh, thanks for the question, Mark. Um, you know, definitely, uh, y if you have that sort of issue where, you know, you're dealing with, uh, you know, an addiction or an alcohol problem, um, I definitely say seek professional assistance if you can afford it. Um, I know that not everyone can. So if you can't, um, you know, uh, you talk, talk to someone about it, um, you know, get, get professional help. Okay, Brian. Uh, friends, family. Brian, people are falling asleep again. So come on. Okay. Um, our next question comes in um, from uh, Mats Matsubol. I'm butchering this name here. Matsubol Stila, I think is one. Matsubol Stila, uh, and uh, he writes in. This is more of a comment. Uh, hey Brian, I love you on the show. Uh, missed you on the oh, E3 episode. Um, uh, what is your uh, What is your opinion on uh, the uh, Mass Effect Andromeda scandal? Now, um, I guess my opinion on this one is I don't think it's much of a scandal here. That game got uh, really thrown under the bus in a situation where there's minor issues with that game. Um, and sorry, Mike, did you have something to say? Nope. I thought you, I heard you can continue. Okay. You can continue buttering your own bread over there, sir. Thank you. Okay, so going back to Mass, Mass Effect Andromeda, that was a game that was um, really thrown under the bus by the. Uh, "Quote unquote gaming journalists of the time, um, because of some minor issues it had, um, which were patched and fixed rather quickly. Uh, you know, the Mass Effect team spent a lot of overtime fixing issues and really got no credit for it. Um, I've played the game from beginning to end twice. Um, gotten, you know, uh, there's with Mass Effect. The great thing about these games is you can get different endings, you can di different experiences each time. So I've played them both. I played it uh, several times. I'm gonna do it a third time here on this playthrough. I'm doing." Um, it's a great game. Uh, it, it got thrown on the bus, and I don't know, you know, what uh, what these developers did to deserve this kind of, uh, you know, firestorm that the media has thrown at them. But um, they made this game that you liked, and then made this segment. Move on, next one. All right, uh, this one comes in from uh, Macosta forty four. Um, Macosta, this is not a Mass Effect question, um, but uh, I thought it was relevant. Uh, asking what our favorite Connects coaster sets are. Oh, come on. So, Dude, you, okay, I'm stopping this right now. Next segment, please. Is it, you just cherry-picked a bunch of questions that made you feel good about yourself. Well, I'm just sharing a common... Uh, Mike, I'm just sharing a common... Okay, well, where are the mic questions? Where are the dominant questions? Well, we, weren't, we didn't know you were going to be on this week, so, you know... That doesn't mean that... It, that the viewers, the viewers didn't know that was going to happen. I'm sure they still wanted their questions answered from the creator of the show. Right. Probably the most, probably the most interesting questions are out there geared towards, you know, headed towards my. Right. Inbox. But knowing, but knowing that you're not going to be on the show this week, I didn't pick questions centered toward asking Mike a question. Well, that's a disservice to the fans who asked questions this week because now we've just skipped over to their questions. So. Well, okay. maybe next week we could do another mailbag when you're back. Yes. All right, guys. Next week we're going to do a mailbag. And it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a, a show creator question only mailbag. All right, and real quickly to answer that last question, um, 
it's hard to pick one um favorite uh Kinex coaster. Um but uh there's the clockwork is probably okay. my favorite. The clockwork. Clockwork. Yeah. Next segment. Come on. <laughs> 